Well, greetings and thanks for joining us today. I'm Robert Locke. The conversation we're going to have today is a case for listening to us. About uh, a year ago, I was down in uh, Macon. I was teaching a class, about 100 students, and somebody came up to me afterwards and said, uh, or at, about, at the break, and said, Robert, why, why should we listen to you? And he wasn't trying to be a smart aleck or be unkind. He just didn't know who we were. He didn't know the years that we'd been in the business. And, and so what he was really asking was this, who are we? Why should managers care? Why should you, the, uh, the managers that we're talking to, why should you embrace the crown model and use our documents? So for the next five or six minutes, we're going to kind of give you a little case study of where we've been and what we're doing now to help property managers succeed in this business. So if you got five minutes to spend with us, we would appreciate it. We're going to take a little break here. We'll be right back. Okay, well, we're back and thank you for staying with us. The conversation we're having is, why should we listen to you? Robert, why should property managers embrace what you're doing? So a little history lesson. I've been licensed since 73. Uh, we began managing for others here in the Atlanta market in 1980, so that's about 35 years ago. We managed under the name Crown Realty and Management. There was no training, no trade association, no CE credit. We were kind of just learning by the state of our pants and are learning by getting beat up by tenants and their lawyers. So this was way back in the dark ages before all the technology and software made this business a lot easier. So we've really literally got 35 years in the business. In year 2000, we had grown it up to about 750 properties. I had kind of gotten sidetracked and did what I love to do, which is the buying of the house business. And uh, in 2000, we were at 750 properties, but the fact of the matter is we had a really bad model. We were not making any money. Average staff left, uh, you know, would be here six months and leave. The word chaos kind of, kind of characterizes where we were in year 2000. So we did a controlled crash. We went from 750 uh, back down to 300, and then we built it up over the next 15 years to 1,000 houses. Now, at that time, we had built a really profitable model. We kind of learned our experience back here, which is experience we're trying to pass on to other property managers. And then we built a really, really profitable model. It would be correct to say that we did property management for 35 years, but only really did it well for 15. The first 20 years, we were distracted with a lot of other things and didn't really put our head into it. The last 15 years from 2000 to 2015, we really, we really did it well. In fact, we ended up selling out to a Fortune 500 company in 2015. Kind of one of those uh, great way to end a career, all cash deals, no earn out, you know, just kind of wire the money to be done and haven't talked to me since then, which is exactly the way you want to sell your business someday. Now let's look at some other statistics, okay? We bought out 14 management companies in the process. So if you're looking to buy or sell a management company, we have a lot of experience to help you do that uh, really well. We had about 3,000 owners go through our system, a little over 9,000 tenants as best we can calculate. We had 18,000 applications, never had one fair housing claim. Well, that, you know, part of that's just dumb luck. Part of that is training and learning, figuring out how things work. Okay, uh, we averaged two, or four, two to four evictions a year in a thousand houses. Now we kind of had a North Atlanta 1350 a month model. When the tenants moved out of our houses, they bought a house. So they really cared about their credit. We did good tenant screening. So we put really good tenants in and we had them last, or stay there five, 10, 15. Our longest tenant stayed 20 years. So we did this really, really well. <clears throat> now, we handled everything you can imagine over 35 years in property management, okay? All the scary stuff. We've had a meth lab. We had 14 houses uh, burned down, one with a body bag. We had a homicide and a suicide. We had two drownings, one HIV death. A hurricane opal took about 13 houses out of our inventory in one fell swoop. 
So if, if, if you're wondering, you know, who's behind this site is putting this together, somebody with a lot of scars, a lot of experience in property management over many, many years. And this is all in the good part of town. I mean, this was just, the, just a plain and simple volume over years, you're gonna experience all this kind of stuff, okay? We actually were engaged as well in one class action lawsuit. How many managers do you know that can say that proudly? Uh, well, we can. Uh, we've managed for private investors, that was our, our market. Government agencies did some section house stuff, didn't like it very much. Did it for foreign investors, large capital groups in 2010, 12, 14, when people in big investor groups came to town, we took on some of those, didn't like those very much. But uh, we, we dealt with five or six of them, a lot of lessons that we learned in the process. Managed for several local brokers and investors that we sold houses to over the years. That was kind of how we got in the business, is selling houses to investors, okay? Most of our clients were accidental landlords. Most of the people lived in the house, moved out, couldn't sell it, didn't want to sell it, and would turn it over to us to manage the property, okay? Owners stayed with us a long time. Our longest one uh, bought houses from us in 1980, 1981, and they were there when we sold out in 2015. So we literally had clients for 35 years. Lots of tenants stayed 10, 15, and even 20 years. So build a good model, very profitable, and a very stable and secure model, something that a Fortune 500 company would want to own, right? Uh, other businesses, now once you've kind of figured out property management, you kind of look around to find some uh, subsidiary businesses to make more money off of the mothership, the management company. So we did that. We did a lot of house buying. We did 500 plus lease purchases, figured that out pretty well. Uh, did a small loan company. We had three maintenance companies. Now why three? Because the first ones failed. The first two, you know, we didn't do that very well. Maintenance is not my strong point. Okay, um, we ran a, developed a collection business, collected over a million six uh, from tenants who left our business, our company, and uh, owed money, and we learned how to chase them and make some money. Now, one of our great success elements of our business is we had very little litigation, and a lot of that had to do with our friend Monica Gilroy. Now, Monica is a real estate litigator, and she knows a ton about landlord-tenant disputes on a nationwide scale. She's done it all over the U.S. Uh, she and I have co-authored courses. We co-teach courses and workshops. Most of the conversation is along the preventing litigation line. That's her strength and it's one of my strengths. We've co-taught those courses uh, together. She has reviewed our documents and tweaked and revised them for over 25 years. So one of the reasons we're one of the most celebrated management agreements around and property managers all over the country use our management agreement or their version of it, their tweaking of it to match their model and their state laws. But we've been selling our management agreement around the country for years and uh, Monica's kind of the brains behind that and a little bit of experience from me as well. Uh, designations, okay? Uh, I've been in NARPEN for 25 years. I'm a resident management professional. I'm an MPM. And Crown was one of 50 certified residential management companies in NARPM. NARPM went 25 years, had 50 uh, CRMCs. We were one of them. So they issued about two a year. And that's kind of a company designation, not a personal one. Okay, now education and training kind of looks like this. I'm a national trainer with NARPM. I have written and I currently teach designation classes with NARPM. I'm an accredited school of the Georgia Real Estate Commission and I'm a partner in education trainer with GAR. Okay? I've traveled around the US. I've had three training assignments in Australia and I have done expert witness for attorneys when there are conflicts and battles in court and they need to hire somebody who's a uh, expert witness. I've, been, I've done that four different times. That's when you really learn the intricacies of this business. Now, our mission is simply this, to help property managers survive, that's uh, dealing with all the CYA stuff, the body armor, protect yourself from the hazards of the business, as well as make more money. Okay, so we know how to turn the revenue streams on. One of our bylines is how to take a nickel dime business and turn it into a money machine. And we certainly know how to do that. We did that from 2000 to 2015 and sold it off to a Fortune 500 company. And one of the big reasons is it pumped out money, made a ton of money, and they like that. Turn a nickel dime business into a money machine. So 
when you ask the question, why, why should you listen? Why should you consider embracing our model and our documents? Well, there's, we've got a little three minute video, don't go away. We're gonna take you through a professionally done video and then we're done with this session. So I'm not gonna say anything after this little tweak at the end, don't go away, you'll like this. Thanks for hanging out with us today. What if you could find a veteran property manager? Somebody from your industry with outstanding credentials like RMP, MPM, CRMC, with 35 years of hands-on experience, who grew their company from the basement of their home to over 1,000 houses and sold out to a Fortune 500 company. What if that someone would share all their documents, forms, checklists, handbooks, manuals, and all the training videos you could watch and be available for one-on-one -on -one consulting to help your business grow and prosper. Wouldn't that be amazing? Now there is such a person. He's an insider and one of your colleagues. Robert Locke, RMP, MPM, national trainer and instructor extraordinaire, is gathering all the documents, forms, handbooks, and lessons from 35 years of hands-on experience in the professional property management industry and posting it on trainingpropertymanagers.com for you to download and is posting dozens of training videos for you and your staff to learn from and offering consulting services to managers across the country. Check it out on trainingpropertymanagers.com.